100.7 WHUD. Hello out there. I'm Ed Bear. Welcome to Pop Rewind on this final Sunday of June. Let's begin with Daniel Boone extolling the virtues of this first full Sunday of summer on WHUD. Sunday morning. Hi, this is Nancy Sinatra. Welcome to the Ed Bear Affair. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> You're kind of cute yourself. One hundred point seven WHUD. It's such a pretty world today. Nancy Sinatra reviving that country hit by Wynn Stewart. You know, it's really no surprise that Nancy Sinatra recorded an album of country songs when she spoke with me a number of years ago. Nancy, you're an astute observer of the musical scene today. How do you think our American music is going? I think there's a there's a bigger country influence coming in with pop music. That makes me happy because mm. I love country music. There's a nice sort of underlying country sound now in, in most records that have come out. Well, there you go. Nancy Sinatra loving country music. Well, we have a number of guests today. Hi, this is Sonny and Cher. And stay tuned for the big bad bear. Eddie Bear, of course. Grr. That's a tiger. Oh, what does the bear do? <laughs> this bear plays the hits, baby. Sonny and Cher with the bear. W-H-U-D. The beat goes on. The beat goes on. 100.7 WHUD. The beat goes on. Well, Sonny is gone, but Cher keeps that beat going. We did lose a few folks recently. Former lead singer of the Drifters, Benny King, passed away on April the 30th at the age of 76. In 1961, his solo hit Stand By Me hit the top ten. 25 years later, it landed in the top 10 again, thanks to its use in the 1986 movie of the same name. The late Benny King and Stand By Me. When the night has come by me. Stand By Me, here on WHUD, the late, great Benny King, here on Pop Rewind. Well, another great artist named King passed away last month. He was eulogized by the likes of President Obama, guitarist too numerous to mention. The 89-year-old musical legend is considered one of the most influential blues musicians of all time. Born Riley B. King, he was known by his stage name B.B. King, B.B. standing for Blues Boy. This is his biggest pop hit, the 1970 Grammy winner. The Thrill is Gone with B.B. King on WHUD. 100.7 100.7 WHUD, the late B.B. King, and the thrill is gone. Well, they say bad news runs in threes, and the third musical legend to pass away was the lead singer of that famous garage band known as the Kingsman. Jack Ely died on April 28th at age 71. Although many artists recorded this song written by Richard Berry, the Kingsman's version with Jack Ely is the best. Louie Louie. Yeah. One hundred point seven WHUD, Louie Louie, the Kingsman with the late Jack Ely. Well, we lost another pop icon on February sixteenth of this year when Leslie Gore passed away at the age of sixty-eight. Here's one of my favorite Leslie Gore hits on WHUD. Sunshine, lollipops, and. One hundred point seven WHUD, the late great Leslie Gore with sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. A song I'd always play on the morning show for WHUD meteorologist Tori Jacobson, who remembered it when he was growing up. Tori always had good musical taste, and of course, he was one of those meteorologists who could look into a girl's eyes and tell weather. But that was a great summer song, and seeing that today is the first full Sunday of the summer season. Let's do some celebrating with this classic by the four preps here on WHUD. In the good old summertime. Hi, I'm Bobby Rydell, and welcome to the Ed Bear Affair. Spring will soon be gone. 
100.7 WHUD, my old pal Bobby Rydell singing the praises of Wildwood, New Jersey, a great summer destination at the Jersey Shore. Hello there, this is Pat Boone. I want you to stay tuned to the big bad bear, Ed Bear, because he's going to let me sing for you later on in the show. Oh, I don't know, Pat. I'm in a good mood today. Let's not wait. How about that great summer hit you did, Love Letters in the Sand? On a day like today. 100.7 WHUD, Pat Boone's biggest hit of all, written by Nick and Charlie Kenny, also very good friends of yours truly over the years. Coming up, more great music on this special edition of Pop Rewind, so stick around. A great way to spend your Sunday morning. Pop Rewind with Ed Bear. One great song after another. On 100.7 WHUD. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Ed Bear. Welcome back to Pop Rewind this June 28th Sunday. Happy to spend this final Sunday of June with you, my loyal listeners. Oh, it's so nice to be with you. I love all the things you say and do. That's Gallery on WHUD with Nice to Be With You. And it's always nice to hear this native of Nova Scotia, Canada. Hi, this is Ann Murray, and you're listening to The Bear Affair on WHUD. Beneath its snowy metal golden. 100.7 WHUD with Ann Murray, a number one pop hit and a top ten hit on the country charts. Ann's debut song. A lot of pop singers recorded popular country songs, like my old pal here, Tom. Hi, everybody. I- I'm Tom Jones. Welcome to the Ed Bear Affair. This Tom Jones hit was a top four country song in 1965 by Dolly Parton's old singing partner, Porter Wagner. Just missed the top ten the following year on the pop surveys. With Tom Jones. Oh. 100.7 WHUD, Tom Jones and the Green, Green Grass of Home. Well, this recording legend knew that country music would appeal to everybody when he recorded this song, written by Don Gibson. I can't stop loving you. Ladies and gentlemen, Ray Charles. I've made up my mind on yesterday. 100.7 WHUD, the biggest hit of all for Ray Charles, topping the pop charts for five weeks in a row. Coming up, we'll roll out the celebrity birthday cake and have more great music on this last Sunday of June. It's Pop Rewind with Ed Bear. One great song after another on Westchester and the Hudson Valley's music station. 100.7 WHUD. Hi, we're the Fifth Dimension. Welcome to the Ed Bear Affair. Welcome back to Pop Rewind on this Sunday morning with one of a dozen top 20 hits for the Fifth Dimension on WHUD. WHUD, Sweet Blindness by the Fifth Dimension. I'll always have a warm spot in my heart for that group. When they had their first hit, Up, Up, and Away, in the summer of 1967, they appeared on The Tonight Show at Rockefeller Center. Well, the following night, the Fifth Dimension did a good guy record hop with me in Far Rockaway. And all the kids, of course, were in awe seeing them in person in that gymnasium after seeing them on TV the previous night on The Tonight Show. And they did my hop for free. Now that's class. Well, there's no shortage of class or talent either with this group. Charting 20 top 10 songs on the pop charts, this one peaked at number three in the summer of 1972. Chicago on Pop Rewind, Saturday in the Park. 100.7 WHUD with Chicago and Saturday in the Park. Well, on this Sunday on the radio, some famous folks are celebrating birthdays this June 28th, including director Mel Brooks, who is 89, actress Kathy Bates is 67, former quarterback John Elway is 55, actor John Cusack, 49, and actress Mary Stewart Masterson also turns 49 today. All the best from all of us here at 100.7 WHUD. 
Let's wrap up this hour with the Beatles in a birthday kind of mood themselves. 100.7 WHUD, featured on their Sgt. Pepper album, The Beatles, When I'm 64. Well, when we come back, we'll have some important news for you, plus more great music as well. The music and events you've grown up with. Pop Rewind with Ed Bear on Westchester and the Hudson Valley's music station. 100.7 WHUD. The music from our favorite show Cause we're going back in time With Pop Rewind With Eddie Bear WHUD. Hello out there. This is Ed Bear. Welcome back to Pop Rewind on this final Sunday of June. Don't look now, but Ed Bear is in the air everywhere. Love is in the air. 100.7 WHUD. Love is in the air. And changes are coming to WHUD. In case you haven't heard, this is our final Pop Rewind show. I've been doing this program for almost 16 and a half years. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Nobody does it better. 100.7 WHUD, Carly Simon, the song featured in the James Bond movie, The Spy Who Loved Me. But getting back to my retirement, I figure if John Stewart can leave The Daily Show and David Letterman can leave The Late Show after 30 years on television, why can't I? I did the morning show on WHUD for over 14 years and Pop Rewind for over 16. So after more than 30 years, I think it's time. In fact, Dave Letterman let me borrow his top 10 list for my last show. So here are the top 10 famous friends of Ed Bear. Number 10 is a character actor in theater, film, and television for over 60 years. And he was famous for his American Express card commercial. And uh, this is Carl Malden. Yeah, I know. You're listening to the gang on the Ed Bear Affair, right? And don't you ever leave home without him. Number nine is an actress whose career began in theater in the late 50s, and she would win numerous Academy Awards, Emmy Awards, Golden Globe, and Tony Awards. Hello, this is Ellen Burstyn, and you're listening to the Ed Bear Affair. Number eight, hobnobbed with the rich and famous, and now stoops to the poor and infamous. Hi, I'm Robin Leach with those champagne wishes and caviar dreams. It's time for the Ed Bear Affair. Number seven is an actress, singer, businesswoman known to millions for her role on Three's Company. Hi, this is Suzanne Summers, and you're listening to the Ed Bear Affair. Number six is an actor, writer, producer, and director best known for his role as Luke Skywalker in Star Wars. Hi, this is Mark Hamill, and the Force is with you on The Ed Bear Affair. Number five is an actress who has won three Emmy and three Tony Awards and was nominated for an Oscar six times. Her 1987 film Fatal Attraction with Michael Douglas made men everywhere think twice about cheating on their wives. Hi, this is Glenn Close. You're listening to The Ed Bear Affair. Number four is a professional wrestler, actor, and entrepreneur named Hulk Hogan. What are you going to do, man, when the Ed Bear Affair runs wild on you, Big Daddy? Number three is a basketball Hall of Famer, broadcaster, and color commentator for the New York Knicks. Hi, this is Walt Clyde Frazier, and you're listening to the Ed Bear Affair. Number two is the longtime public address announcer at Yankee Stadium, the late, great Bob Shepard. How about you? And number one of the famous friends of Ed Bear is the most famous double talk artist of all time. Uh, This is Al Kelly telling you about Ed Bear, the man who wants to have lunch with you on the tray because he has his own thought. Not only is he the big bad bear who has given to all of you the right of a trade, but he gives you music with a charm and a salesman. The news of all the trades with Phil, and the sport that you have drive which is over the trade. And no matter what you say about the trade, remember that Ed Bear is the one with the crowd, and you have a trade patrol, and I tell you, listen. And, of course, my thanks to David Letterman for letting me borrow his top ten list. Eddie, this is Nancy. Are you going to play my record? Yes, sweetie, I will, but as you know... This year, we're celebrating the 100th anniversary of your daddy's birth in 1915. And I wanted to play my favorite Frank Sinatra song. 
Frank and Nelson Riddle did a swing and arrangement of a Jerome Kern ballad for an album of Academy Award winners. Someday to night. 100.7 WHUD, recorded in 1964. It showed up 25 years later in 1989 in a television commercial for Michelob Beer with Frank lip syncing the lyrics. Eddie, I'm still waiting to hear my record. Yeah, Nancy, I know. Don't nag, sweetheart. You're getting to sound like those two gals who kept begging me to write to them when I went away. <laughs> Remember the Teen Queens on WHUD? Eddie, my love. 100.7 WHUD. Eddie, my love. A top 14 hit by the Teen Queens. Hi, Eddie. It's Nancy again. If you don't play that record, we're through. Oh, my gosh. Don't say that, Nancy. I'll play your record. Now that's a good big bad bear. Here's Nancy Sinatra, top 25 hit written by Lee Hazelwood called Lightning's Girl. I told you that I'm Lightning's Girl. Eddie, this is Nancy Sinatra. I may be Lightning's Girl, but you're still my teddy bear. I just want to be your teddy bear. 100.7 100.7 WHUD with Elvis, one of 20 number one hits for the king of rock and roll. I like to call this special lady the musical queen of the Hudson Valley. Hi, this is Vanessa Williams, and you're listening to the Ed Bear Fair. Here's the biggest hit of all for this gal born in Tarrytown, topping the pop charts in 1992 for five weeks in a row. Save the best for last on WHUD. Sometimes the snow comes down in June. Yeah. 100.7 WHUD, Westchester's own Vanessa Williams. Big favorite of yours, truly. Another favorite of mine over the years is the man known as the Godfather of Soul. Hi, this is James Brown, and welcome to the Ed Bear Fair. <laughs> WHUD, the late, great James Brown. I got you, and I feel good. Coming up, more great music and memories on this final edition of Pop Rewind. A great way to spend your Sunday morning. Pop Rewind with Ed Bear. One great song after another. On 100.7. WHUD. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here. Welcome back to our final Pop Rewind show. Spanky and our gang sum up our feelings on this Sunday morning. Someday will never be the same. 100.7 WHUD. Sunday will never be the same. At least for me. One of the most popular groups of the 70s, and I played most of their hits, was Tony Orlando and Dawn. Just can't take it no more. 100.7 100.7 WHUD. That song always brought back memories for me. Cause growing up, I used to run through our neighbor's strawberry patch on my way home from school. It's kind of a strawberry shortcut. Throw that man out. Get his body out of here. They will. They will. But first, we'll have some final thoughts and more great music for you. It's Pop Rewind with Ed Bear. One great song after another on Westchester and the Hudson Valley's music station. 100.7 WHUD. Hi, this is Lionel Richie, and you're listening to the Ed Bear Affair. Yeah, welcome back to our final edition of Pop Rewind. Lionel and the Commodores would reach number four on the pop music charts with this ballad that kind of defines the last 16 plus years. Pop Rewind. 100.7 WHUD, Lionel Richie and the Commodores, and Easy Like Sunday Morning. Well, another group that got a lot of play on this program was this quartet from Sweden, whose music was featured in both the Broadway musical and the film Mamma Mia. Here's ABBA on WHUD. I'm nothing special. In fact, I'm a bit of a bore. 100.7 WHUD with ABBA. 
Well, I received lots of letters and emails from you, my loyal listeners, over the years, thanking me for playing this great music. But all good things must come to an end. And this pop trio from Toronto named Edward Bear said it best with this 1972 song. Did you know I'd go to sleep? 100.7 WHUD. Well, not quite the last song I'll ever play for you. Because as we celebrate the 100th anniversary of the birth of arguably the greatest song stylist of all time, we play this rather appropriate song by Francis Albert Sinatra on WHUD. My, my. 100.7 WHUD. Well, we'll see what's shaking down the road. You never know in this business what's around the next corner. But for now, we wrap up the show with this English performer and a song that says it all. When you come to the end of a lovely park, Yes, friends, when you come to the end of a lollipop, all you have left is the stick. Words to live by. And that'll do it for me. I'm Ed Bear saying for the last time, thanks so much for listening. My best to the family, and we'll have to have lunch sometime.